We're still in my workshop and this is what I call the Magpie Gym. This is where I have performed or done all the experiments with the birds and also tried to get the tension for the site. The current solution is quite slim uh, but there's been a lot of other experiments going on before and I'll show you them later. So right now the solution is based on the simple idea of putting a, a, met a bottle cap down in this hole and you will get a reward from this little hole. And to get the reward down we have this little funnel and a piece of hose and then the big hose comes from the dispenser above. And this is a simple solution just to make it easy and, and easy to connect or disconnect because quite often you want to take the gym into your workshop to doing some changes but you don't need to mess with the with the feeder or the dispenser and we can see if it works uh, that means bottle cap goes down there what about a zero alcohol Heineken and below <laughs> Behind you could hear the dispenser, no the hose isn't connected. And you could also hear what I was, think I was explaining earlier, that the dispenser was now going from one rev run rev revolution and revving the motor up to actually get the vibrating feeding the dog food out. So we could try it again. And at this time there was something li laying just on the edge, so it, you just did a, a short push from the vibrator to get it out okay so this is the gym and I also like to show you some of the earlier experiments this is a, a basic food bowl or something like that and if you would like to do something similar I would recommend you to start with something like this and the STL file will be available on Thingiverse and other sites so here I designed you see the at the same way the hose goes down there the reward will go out to this area I've done some some modifications uh, quite lately here but originally it's, it's a it's a solid bottom and we have this little lid uh, see-through acrylic and I have a magnet here and there's a reed switch below that means I can send something out something tasty and then I can measure or log the time it takes before the bird is picking that up so I can actually detect when the reward is, is picked up and I also introduced a mecha mechanism based on a, on a model RC servo with a special mechanism that makes it possible for me to lock the lid like that and then forcing the servo motor to another position I can unlock and now it could be opened not open or locked unlocked and I can even automatically open up the lid so this is a good start to get the attention and you could feed could send something out something tasty like every 15 minutes so you could have it randomly or you could do it every hour and you could do that to get this area or this site included in the patrol scheme of the birds because they tend to to check for different places that where they are used to find something tasty and you could see how you could get them I mean if you more or less continuously feed them they will stay here so, so that's a trick you can do and then I also experimented with uh, a switch I wanted to see whether the birds could learn to operate something to get food and uh, so I was looking for a switch do you have a bird switch you ask Amazon or something no we don't have so I 3d printed this with a small micro switch and with this in within this cavity I put something tasty I had to do that manually initially but quite soon they realized that okay pushing here will generate something tasty over here there was an interesting thing I learned when I tried to move this button further away. I also planned to to close the lid of the 
of the food bowl and lock it and, and open it up for a short while and having the button far, far away enough for the birds not to be able to, to get back to the food bowl before I closed it again. And um, I started to try and see if they could collaborate, two birds. That would be a really, really interesting experiment. But I gave that up quite quick. Maybe I should take it up again because the distance between the action and the food seems to be really crucial here. I guess Darwin never sent or never taught them in the evolution that if you if you kill something over here, you could eat it here. So that seems to be genetically really difficult for them to understand. So if I move this button, let's say one and a half, two meters away, they won't recognize the button, at least not during the experiments I did. So that's a lot about the gym. And uh, in the next video, I will flip this over and show you how the detectors for different stuff looks like. You might wonder why I put fruit here and metal here. This is uh, the beginning of a new experiment. I want to see whether the birds can cope with bringing an apple up here because there's a lot of fallen fruits, what do we call it? Full fruits. Fruits on my lawn, apples, and they are really messing up with the robotic lawnmower. So that would be awesome if the birds could cope to get the, the apples up here. And the sensor is ready made. I just didn't dare testing it earlier this week because I had, in the beginning of this week, I had some journalists from Swedish National Radio here. And I don't know about you, I guess you are super experienced designers and makers and nothing like that happens to you, but for me, the demo devil is always there. So I thought that if I start to mess around too much with this, starting to make changes in the code, etc., nothing will work when the journalists arrive. So I, I'm going to pick that up as soon as I get some, some, some extra time and see whether that's possible or not. Okay, so let's flip it all over.